What's up everyone? Today's quarantine training is the double knife. I've been going over a lot of basic stuff, but here's, I would say this is a little bit more intermediate. Using double knives, this is my kitchen knife. This is a training knife. I just wanna show you that you can use any blades that you have in the house. A butter knife, hands up. You're throwing your jab, but remember, don't punch with your fist. Punch with the knife, nice and slow, cross, hook, uppercut, all right? One, two, three, four. I've had a few comments that people say, don't bring, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Well, not everyone has a gun. And if you're in your kitchen and you're cooking and someone breaks into your house, you can grab two knives. Or if you have two concealed knife and you do cardio kickboxing and you've been watching my videos, now you can just add it into your basic combination of a jab, cross, hook, uppercut. And if you put your guards up, I guarantee you, whoever's trying to bully you or whoever's trying to attack you is gonna think twice. So I know for a fact that there's more people that is doing cardio kickboxing, cardio boxing, or even regular kickboxing and Muay Thai than there is people who train in the art of knife fighting. So in the art of knife fighting, there's the path of the blade where you're slicing across the neck, slicing the biceps, blocking and slicing, but that takes time to learn and to develop the skill. But since some people already have a basic skill of boxing or kickboxing using their punch combos, you put a knife in their hands and you teach them a basic jab, cross, hook, uppercut with the blade. Now I guarantee you they are at the advantage if someone's attacking them without a weapon. Just imagine someone throwing combos with a blade at you. So remember, don't hit with the fist, hit with the knife. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, right? I mean, real basic stuff, guys. Stick with the reverse grip because you can punch, okay? Practice at home, a few minutes every single day, get two kitchen knives, or get your training blade. I like to use the TS training blades, right? So it's just low. And there's some other angles, like if you jab this way, right? You can also jab this way, you can jab this way. Different variations, but the basics, stick to your jab, cross, hook, uppercut, jab, jab, cross. So do a simple jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. This way. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off with a little bit of shadow boxing with my blades for you, okay? But remember, be safe, be kind, and always be ready.